Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this portfolio website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, we added some animations to this hero section. So if I reload this page, this is how it looks. Now in this video, we will add animations to the other sections of our website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, here is my source code and uh, here let's go ahead and uh, first of all let's target the about image so here we have this uh, image on the left side and uh, if we go to our index.html file here if you go to the about section here we can see that we have this uh, section with an id of about and in that we have this uh, division with the class of left so let's target this left division so here we're going to use gsap dot from to and here we can add the from and the to states. So first of all, we need to target the element. So let's tap hash about dot left. And uh, here in the first curly braces, we need to add the from state. And uh, in the second curly braces, we need to add the ending state. So here in the beginning, let's set the x to negative 40. And let's set the opacity to zero. And uh, here, Let's tap x0 and opacity of 1. And here we will also add a scroll trigger. So here we can see that in our HTML file, we have already linked the CDN of scroll trigger. So let's tap scroll trigger. Now what scroll trigger basically does is that when that specific element is in the viewport, then it will notify GSAP and we'll be able to add some animations when this element comes into view. So let's go ahead and uh, set the trigger and the trigger will be the same element about left and we need to add a start position. So let's type top 80%. Let's also add an end position and let's type top 10% and uh, we will also use a value called scrub and let's set it to true and I'll explain to you these things in a bit but first of all let's check whether it works. So let's save this, let's go back and uh, let's reload this page. And now let's scroll down. And we need to check whether the about image is being displayed from the left side when we scroll down. So here we can see that as we scroll down, the about image is being displayed and it is moving to the right side. It is working correctly. So if we go back, here we are setting the scrub to true and it means that as we scroll down this animation runs so if we stop in the middle then the animation also stops in the middle so it is how the scrub works now i'll also explain to you the start and the end position so for that we will just use markers and let's set it to true and uh, now we can see that these are the markers so this is a scroller end and scroller start so when the start of the element reaches the scroller start the animation begins to run and when the end reaches the scroller end, the animation stops. So this is how this start and end values work. Right now, let's go ahead and add animations to this description. So for that, let's go ahead and create a new GSAP. And let's type dot from to. And let's target the description. So here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of description. So let's target that. So I'll just type hash about description. And uh, here let's set the opacity to zero in the beginning. And for the end state, let's go ahead and type opacity of one. And uh, here we will not use the scrub. We'll just uh, run the animation when the element is displayed on the screen. So let's add a duration for that. And let's set the duration to two. And here let's add a scroll trigger. And uh, in the scroll trigger, we will add the trigger. And let's set the trigger to about description. And uh, let's set the start position to top 80%. And uh, now let's go ahead and see whether this works. So let's uh, reload this page. And now if we scroll down, we can see that the animation is working. This uh, about description fades in. So here we can see if we scroll down, we have the about description being displayed. So now let's go ahead and uh, target all the headings. So for all these H2s, we need to have a specific animation. 
Now in GSAF we have an option to select multiple elements. So let's create a const and let's call it heading 2 and let's type GSAP and uh, you need to type utils dot 2 array and here we can just mention the selector of the element so let's type h2 and uh, here let's target all the h2s so here let's loop through all the h2 which we are storing inside heading 2 so let's type heading 2 dot for each and for each of the h2 i'll just call it h2 and uh, here let's add a gsap from 2 and here let's uh, select the h2 which we get from here and uh, here for the first state let's type opacity of 0 and x of negative 40 and uh, here for the end state let's type opacity of 1 and x of 0 and let's set the duration to 1 let's add a scroll trigger and in the scroll trigger let's go ahead and set the trigger to h2 and let's set the start position to top 80 percent right now let's go back and uh, reload this page and uh, we'll just remove this marker so let's remove markers from here and uh, let's go back and now if you scroll down here we can see for the h2 we have this animation let's scroll down and let's see whether we have the animation for all the other h2s so here also we have the animation here also we have the animation and uh, everything is working all right right now let's add the animation for the services image so let's go ahead and type gsap from 2 and here we have an idea of services and let's go back to the html and let's see what is the element called so here we have this uh, division with the class of image so let's target that and here for the initial state let's tap opacity of 0 and scale of 0 0.9 so it will scale up and for the next state let's go ahead and type opacity of 1 scale of 1 and let's set the ease to elastic dot out 1 and 0 0.3 and here let's add a scroll trigger and in the scroll trigger let's add the trigger and let's set the trigger to services image and let's set the start position to top 80 percent just like the other elements and let's go back and let's see whether it works so let's reload this page and now if you scroll down here we can see that we have this animation and the duration is too low so let's go back and let's add a duration over here so let's type duration and let's set it to 2 and this is how it looks right now let's add animations to this accordion so let's target all these accordion items so if you go back to the html here we can see we have this accordion item divisions inside the accordion so let's target those let's type gsap from 2 and let's target accordion item and let's set the opacity to 0 and x to negative 40 and uh, for the final state let's type opacity of 1 x of 0 duration of 1 and uh, scroll trigger and let's type trigger of accordion item and let's set the start to top 80 percent and uh, now if you go ahead and uh, reload this page we have the animation but uh, we want all of these to be displayed one after the other so for that let's go ahead and add a stagger and let's set the value to 0 0.16 and this is how it looks right now let's go ahead and target these brand logos so let's go back and uh, let's type gsap from 2 and for the selector let's go ahead and uh, select all the img tags inside brand logos so let's type brand logos img and uh, here let's go ahead and type opacity 0 scale 0 0.9 and let's add one more color basis let's type opacity of 1 scale of 1 duration of 2 and let's also add a stagger of 0 0.16 let's also add the ease and let's set it to elastic dot out 1 and 0 0.3 and let's add the scroll trigger and here let's set the trigger to brand logos img and let's type start of top 80 percent and let's go back and let's reload this page and this is how it looks right now let's target all these project 
divisions over here. So let's go back to the HTML. And here we have this division of the class of project. So let's target these divisions. I just tap gsap dot from to dot project. And first of all, let's set the opacity to zero and scale to 0 0.97. And here let's tap opacity of one scale of one duration of two and ease of elastic dot out one and 0 0.3 and let's set the stagger to 0 0.16 and uh, let's also add the scroll trigger and let's set the trigger to project and let's set the start marker to top 80 percent and this is how it looks Right now let's scroll down and uh, let's target these timeline items. So if you scroll down here, we can see that we have these timeline items over here. So let's add some animations to that. Let's tap gsap dot from to and let's tap timeline item. And for the initial state, let's tap opacity of zero and scale of 0 0.9. And here let's tap opacity of one scale of one duration of two. Let's also add a stagger of 0 0.16. Let's set the ease to elastic dot out one and 0 0.3. And let's add a scroll trigger. And let's set the trigger to timeline item. And let's set the start to top 80%. You can change these values and uh, make the animation work as you like. So this is how it looks. All right now let's target all the buttons and let's add some animation to all the buttons in our website. So here we can see inside the sections we have the buttons and in the hero section also we have a button but we will not include that because we have already added some animations to the button inside the hero section. So let's target all the buttons inside the section tags. So for that we will just type const buttons and let's type gsap.utils.toArray section btn and let's type buttons dot for each and I'll just call each of the buttons btn. And here in this arrow function, let's go ahead and uh, first of all type gsap dot from to. And here let's type btn. And uh, for the initial state, let's type opacity of zero. And uh, for the ending state, let's type opacity of one. And let's set the duration to two. And uh, let's add a scroll trigger. And let's set it to trigger button and start of top 80%. Let's save this and uh, here we can see we have the button. If we scroll down, here we can see that the animation is working for the button. So let's check all the buttons. Let's reload this page. Let's scroll down. And here we can see we have this animation. The button is fading in. Right now in the same way, let's also add animation to all the paragraphs. So let's copy these uh, lines of code and uh, let's paste it down here. And here let's tap paragraph and let's tap section P and here let's type paragraph. And here instead of BTN, let's name it P. Let's do it over here and here as well. Now let's go back and uh, here we can see we have the animation for all the paragraphs inside our website. Now let's reload this page and let's scroll down. Now the problem is that the animation is being added to this uh, service section paragraph as well. So if I reload this page and if I scroll down over here, we can see that initially the paragraph is not being displayed correctly. So let's exclude this paragraph from the animation. And for that here, in the selector, you can just type colon not. And uh, if you go back here for the accordion item, we have this paragraph with the class of accordion content. So we don't want to include this accordion content. So let's type not dot accordion content. And now if you save this and uh, if I reload this page and if I scroll down, we don't have the animation for the paragraph inside the accordion. But for all the other paragraphs, we have the animation. And with that, we have completed adding the animation to all the sections in our website.
Now you can simply go ahead and update our Netlify website with this updated code by just dragging and dropping the updated folder inside the Netlify dashboard. And I had already shown you how to do that in the deployment video in this series. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.